Hi, my name is Luke Hassan, and welcome to this presentation on Vietnamese cuisine. Vietnam is located in Southeast Asia, bordering China and the Gulf of Tonkin to the north, the South China Sea to the east and south, and the Gulf of Thailand and the countries of Cambodia and Laos to the west. At various points in history, Vietnam has been a colony of China and France, had various kingdoms of its own, including the Champa and the Dai Viet, and has been invaded by Cambodia and Japan for shorter periods of time. All of these occupations have affected the Vietnamese cuisine and still influences daily eating patterns. Food in northern Vietnam, for example, has a strong Chinese feel, with the use of soy sauce instead of traditional Vietnamese fish sauce commonplace. Central Vietnam generally has a very noble feel from the kingdoms of the second millennia, notably the Champa. It is characterised by many dishes that in a spread for one meal. The more dishes, the wealthier the household. South Vietnam replaces chilies with peppers, and with the large amount of fruit produced in the region, sweet fruity additions are common in dishes of meat and vegetables. This region, again, is influenced by the Cambodian Angkor cuisine, once South Vietnam's ruler, and now its neighbour. There is also a vein of French influence still very visible across the country. Potatoes, asparagus, onions, coffee, a creme caramel dish known as ban flan, as well as bread, were all French staples and are now used in various areas of the Vietnamese diet. Rice is a huge staple in Vietnam, rice with soup being the national dish. Long white rice is favoured and is either steamed, used to make noodles, wine, vinegar or rice paper rolls. These noodles, together with a broth filled with supplementary vegetables and a protein source such as meat, fish or tofu, make up the widely eaten soups. Vietnamese condiments revolve around the ever-present noc mam, a salty fish sauce that is present at almost every meal and used in almost every recipe. Noc cham, the dipping sauce brother of noc mam, is also hugely popular. Many herbs are used, such as perilla, Asian mint and basil, dill and lemongrass, as well as shallots, ginger, Saigon cinnamon, garlic and peppercorn to give their food vibrancy and sharper flavour. Viet cooking methods, like many East Asian cultures, include steaming, stewing, boiling, grilling and fresh wrapping. Also included are stir frying and general frying, though these are limited to use in the north of the country mostly. Often, when stewing or boiling, meat and vegetables will be left in a broth over a fire to cook overnight, infusing them with the rich taste and melt-in-your-mouth feel that is sought after by, by the Vietnamese. The number five is very important in Vietnamese culture, which stems from the principles of Wu Zing, the five elements, metal, wood, earth, fire and water. Each dish will balance out the five fundamental taste senses, spicy, sour, bitter, salty and sweet to match the five traditional internal organs, gallbladder, small intestine, large intestine, stomach, and urinary bladder, and include the five types of nutrients, powder, liquid, mineral elements, protein, and fat, and contain five colors, white, green, yellow, red, and black. Many Viets are also Mayahana Buddhists, which means a large proportion of Vietnamese soup food is vegetarian. Vietnamese weddings are huge occasions that center around food that has a meaning. These meanings could be happiness, peace, longevity, or good luck. Such foods include lobster, quail, noodles, and sweet foods. Traditional weddings serve eight dishes. Other special occasions include the first day of each lunar month, in which Viet Buddhists will not eat any animal products. Vietnam is a large producer of rice, most of which is consumed in Vietnam, but some of which is exported. It also exports a large amount of rice. Fishing is a large industry in Vietnam also, and again, most of what is caught in Vietnam is eaten there, but it also exports a lot of fish, almost 2.5 million tonnes in 2014. Vietnam is also a large importer of dairy, 
beverages, both alcoholic and non-alcoholic, and meat and processed foods, but is a large exporter of rice, pepper, tea, coffee, and tobacco. The following graphs are comparisons between Vietnam and Australia of the apparent consumption of four key com commodities, rice, fish, seafood, poultry meat, and sugar. This data is from the FAO and can be found at http colon forward slash FAO FAO stat compare. The apparent consumption of rice is much, much larger in Vietnam than Australia, with Vietnam having a supply quantity of almost 13 million tonnes compared to Australia's of less than 1 million. In this graph, it's shown that Vietnam also has a much larger apparent consumption of fish and seafood. Third graph shows that Vietnam also edges out Australian apparent consumption of poultry meat. However, the supply quantities are very similar. Fourth graph shows that over the years, sugar has been one of Australia's primary industries. However, in 2014, Vietnam still edged Australia out in terms of supply quantity. There were not many Vietnamese people in Australia prior to the end of the Vietnam War. Only 382 Vietnamese Victorians were recorded in the 1976 census. The majority came as refugees in the late 70s and early 80s via boat, fleeing from persecution they were facing from the new communist government. By 1981, there were over 12,000 Vietnamese people born in Vietnam living in Victoria. Today, that number is over 68,000. Vietnamese food is in every town and city with a Vietnamese immigrant population. For example, the ever popular pho can be found in many Asian takeaway outlets and little family run restaurants are found in various towns and cities. Vietnamese fu fruits and vegetables are also found in specialty stores as well as major supermarkets. Foods such as bitter melon, durian, papaya, taro and cabbage, as well as yams, are becoming common items found in Woolworths, Coles and Aldi. Thank you for your time.